So today I'm going to explain the difference between a gasoline engine cycle and a diesel engine cycle. Now the main difference is that with a diesel engine you have the fuel injected after the compression cycle and I'm going to kind of explain how that works here. So this which I've drawn here is the gasoline or auto cycle as it's commonly referred to um, and here's how it works. Step one right here you've got this is the intake stage and so you're going to be pulling in an air fuel mixture uh, let's go ahead and use green for that we'll have an air fuel mixture coming in here and filling this chamber and this piston inside of the cylinder here is going to pull down and it's going to draw in this air fuel mixture gasoline combined with air the next step step number two we're going to have to compress this so both the intake and exhaust valves right here are going to be closed off and it's going to take this air fuel mixture which is in here and compress that so it's going to compress it as much as it can now in, in gasoline engines the compression ratio only may be up to 10 to 1 meaning that the volume when this piston is down at the bottom compared to the volume when it's all the way compressed is 10 times greater uh, so that's that's what a compression ratio is now it's going to compress that then you're going to have a spark plug in a gasoline engine that's going to ignite uh, it's going to just have a little spark and then that'll explode the gasoline and that's going to cause everything to expand well that's going to be your power stroke that's going to push the piston down and so that in turn is going to rotate your crankshaft go through your transmission, go to the wheels, and then you've got power, you're moving, you're turning your wheels. So the last step then is to get those exhaust fumes out. So those exhaust, the exhaust uh, valve here, there's usually two of them, are going to open up and then your exhaust airs can go out. And then the cycle repeats itself. Now it's a little different with a diesel engine. In my opinion it's also a little, little more practical so you're still going to have well you're just going to have an air this is no longer an air fuel mixture this is just air coming in and it's going to take all that air and draw it down the piston's going to come down the same just like it did the only difference is there's no fuel here now in the second step you're going to have this piston compress just like it did with the gasoline engine except it's going to compress up to the top with no fuel and then fuel is injected in so kind of here you can think of this instead of a spark you're going to have fuel sprayed in and this fuel because diesel engines operate I guess I should kind of show you guys this is no longer a gas cycle we're talking about diesel now so because this there's no fuel when it's compressing you can compress it to a higher uh, say 15 to 1 compression ratio meaning the volume here is 15 times smaller than it was when the piston was down at the bottom that'll give you a much greater pressure also a much greater temperature as pressure rises so does temperature so when this compresses this air right here is going to be extremely hot when you shoot in this diesel fuel it's automatically going to ignite and cause the combustion so then that's going to explode the piston's going to come down that'll give you your power cycle and once again the next stage will be exhausting those fumes so that's the main difference and compressions uh, compression ratio is directly related to fuel economy the, the curve kind of looks somewhat like this if uh, Here's your uh, fuel economy here on the on the vertical axis, and then here is your compression ratio. It's going to be something like this, where it does taper off, and say this may be a compression ratio of 10, and this may be 15. But as you can see, you're going to get better fuel economy at 15, and that is the main reason why diesels can get better fuel economy. I'll probably do another video later um, further describing why diesels have better fuel economy, but this is, this is the main important fact is that the compression ratios in diesel engines 
are much greater. Now the added benefit to having a greater compression ratio um, and also with diesels is that you can modify a diesel engine since this uh, the air fuel mixture isn't coming in together it's just air that you're compressing if you want to get a larger turbocharger or say a supercharger for your diesel engine the only thing you have to worry about is the mechanical components and their strength whereas in a gasoline engine you're going to have to worry about well let's say we get a compression ratio of 13 and you're using mid-grade octane fuel then you're going to have pre-ignition and as this is compressing the air fuel mixture it's going to explode before your spark plugs goes off and then you're going to have problems so with a diesel engine all you have to worry about is the mechanical components and that's the main difference between a diesel and an auto cycle